Honestly, been carrying that around for a while. Why'd you do it on the dive? I wanted it to be memorable. It's not that memorable. I have to hand it to you. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Never thought you were the settling type. Proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. But one, I'm not that sappy. Two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. It seemed a little too... Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Right here. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah. That makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. OK, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there, and it makes no difference. But every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters, and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. OK, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time, smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman, 
brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Huh, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, old, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Oh, 
Hawks free. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of... Maybe the fisherman I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. I want to get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. <sighs> Regret this, you piece of shit. You're gonna rot in a cell. Uh. Ah! Fuck out. Uh. I'll be back for you later. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Oh, yeah. You know how to treat a lady, right? Slow down. Easy. Be on your best behavior, little man. Okay. Okay. Jesus, Conrad. Sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Did you see my brother? No. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take him by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Oh. Fuck, motherfuckers. Hey, 
Hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. Just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad. Just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Hey, what was that? Conrad, just get to the boat. <sighs> Amateur hour over here. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. What are you doing, you idiot? Careful! Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, or son. Je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Olsen, come here. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo?
Lincoln blew our best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us there up. Yeah, so. Put a cork in it. The storm is gonna last. You try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Get it? Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple buffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different.
kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Floating death trap. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. not sign up for a trip to creep down something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck
Olsen, il y a une porte ici. OK. All of you. Into the room. this fucking place. Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So can't we just, like, hotwire or something? You cannot hotwire distributor cap, okay? These assholes knew exactly what they were doing. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find in this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that, um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys, or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Mm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. What do you think this ship was? I wonder why this was ripped off. So, when we told you this would be a quick little adventure... Was there something in this small print? Should we expect an itemized bill for all these, uh, extras? Yeah. Kidnapping, 750 a yen. Extra time, 350 an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering? I'll get that to you on that one. At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. Real, real creepy. What's going on? Just living our lives, Conrad. Whatever's left of them. 
I found a letter, by the way. Some guy was writing to his little lady back home about all the ghosts and crap on the ship. Ghosts? Uh, yeah. I mean, there aren't really ghosts here. Right? Let's hope we don't run across any ghosts. We got our hands full already. Okay. We got one guy complaining about another guy pretending to be sick so he could get out of guarding one of the holds. And I guess he was kind of a repeat offender. It sounds like nobody liked it very much down there. So, uh, I guess the moral of the story is stay the fuck away from the haunted cargo holds. Haunted? Maybe they just didn't like working there. Yeah, or maybe there are super ghosts. That's... what? Ghosts, but like 16-bit. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Super ghosts. Right. We just need to stay calm and focus on getting out of here. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Look, those meatballs are probably just looking for some get-rich-quick Manchurian gold. Which may not even exist. I mean, what if they don't find anything? Then we're fucked. So, what do we do? We want an adventure, right? So let's adventure the shit out of this popsicle stand. Oh, okay, really? You, you think I'm not up to it? I don't really care. I just want to get this disintegrator cap for the Duke, so if you all wouldn't mind growing up and helping me out, then maybe we can finally get back to whatever's left of our godforsaken beer stash. That's it. What do you think? Okay, well we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. All right, yeah, catch you later. Take a look. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey, come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vet like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. Shit, uh, what are you guys doing out there? Pieces of eight and shiver me timbers, you one-legged fuck faces! Yeah, no, you, I'm gonna rip your pirate parents off your shoulders and stomp them into rainbow-colored stew! I'm warning you, I am an American citizen. You really want my president coming after you guys? Because he will. Each and every one of you, personally. Hey, can you hear me? I I'm talking to you. Hello?
safe now? Stay quiet. We need to keep going. Look at that. I love what they've done the place. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. There's the mystery of the smelly socks and pungent briefs. I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? And leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Where's the you are here arrow? I just can't believe this is happening. What the hell happened to Brad? You think he's still on the Duke? Your guess is as good as mine. You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. This place is fucking massive.
distributor cap from the Duke. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Alright, son. I'm gonna go get it. We gotta be careful. Could be a trap. We gotta take the chance. Okay. Keep an eye out. Holy crap! God damn it, they're taking place. Shut the fuck up, man. Where are the others? Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. We gotta keep moving. What does that mean? Why aren't you telling me? Hey! According to this, today's beef casserole. Hmm, yummy. 
It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. Nice blade. Could make a nice severance package for my assailants if you catch my drift. I guess you never know. We might have to use it. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around the kitchen. Hey, babe, once we settle down, I will be your personal chef de cuisine. All right, now what is this place? I'm thinking we gotta go through here. Something. It was moving in the shadows. Julia, just try to get a grip. Don't fucking laugh at me! Alright, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool it, Jay. We don't have a lot of options. It's gotta be this way. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. We gotta get out of here too sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? Human? What is the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now! Leave, leave, leave! Hey, we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes! Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there. And those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And, and... then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. Will you please hurry? Please? 
Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. What's the matter? Shh. What is it? Look! What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. We gotta get Fliss. No time to lose. <gasps> what the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? Oh. Why so spick and span? This is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? gone on ahead. Why would I tell you? 